Hello everybody, welcome to another video, another Roblox video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to animate um, weapons in Roblox Studio, so stuff like swords in Roblox Bed Wars, especially they use like, you know, animations for their swords, and pretty much every game that has a sword in it, it has animations, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to animate uh, weapons with Moon Animator inside Roblox Studio. Also another thing, let me know in the comments, does my mic sound better? I saw a lot of people in the last animation video saying that it was only like playing to one side of the ear. Tell me if this sounds a lot better. Anyways, let's go on to the tutorial. So um, I'm going to do my, uh, so insert character, we'll just insert a, a little preset, reset R6. I'm going to make all my animations in R6. Um, and make sure whatever avatar type you're using, you go to game settings, avatar, and you select the avatar type. I'm using R6, so mine's already selected as R6. But if you're using R15 or something else, make sure you select the uh, correct avatar type. Let's go ahead and open up Moon Animator. We'll select this rig, bring it down here. And then you guys can uh, you know mess around with however you want to animate it. So I'm gonna do like a like a little load animation. Actually, wait, hold up. Let me set some stuff. Make sure priority is set to action. Sword swing one. And let me set this to a minute. Um, yeah, like I said, make sure priority is set to action. Um, action is like uh, priorities. There's different priorities. If we go here and we look priority, action, movement, idle, core, all this stuff. Movement is used for stuff like walking animations and jumps. Idle is just like the player's idle. Actions are used for um, stuff like sword animations and stuff like that. So make sure you have action selected. And then you guys can uh, make your animation if you want. If you want, you can follow along with me. Um, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. So we're going to make a quick little um, load animation. So we'll go to 10... little bit so let's see this let's see that looks pretty good and we're just gonna go ahead and set this um style of this of the uh, last one where it like eased we'll set it to quint that looks pretty good then let's do the over like the actual swing animation so we're gonna set them right down maybe turn his body a little bit and then we're going to propel that arm forward like this and make him maybe a little bit more um so he swings all the way down let's see what this looks like A second highlight this um <clears throat> highlight <clears throat> fuck my voice highlight this uh keyframe edit selection quint let's see what this looks like yeah i like how that looks so we're gonna go ahead and how to export the rig is we're gonna go like this we're gonna save as We'll, we'll save it as Sword Swing 1. And then we will export the rig. It'll show up here in this new little model called Animation Saves under the uh, model of the our, you know the NPC. We're going to click on it. We're going to right click. We're going to hit Save to Roblox. And we can name it whatever we want. So we'll name it Sword Swing 1. Make sure the creator is set to. So like let's say, you had, let's say you're making a game and it was under the group. You would set this to the group. But because it's just my game, we're going to just set it to me. Hit submit. And before you hit close, make sure you copy the ID right here by clicking these two little boxes. Click that. ID copied. It should, you know, show up. ID copied. And, um, yeah, because that's the animation ID. So now, next thing up, let's go ahead and go into our sword tool, which you guys can get. The, I'll have this link in the description for you guys. Um, all it is is the handle um, and then the model of the sword 
make sure delete the weld to the base plate i don't know why it's doing that we'll uh make we need two folders inside of here one will be called animations and one will be called scripts in here we will insert a animation and we'll name it swing uh, not swing 12 sing one swing one we'll paste that animation id in there next thing up we'll insert a a normal script inside of the scripts folder we can name this main so we need to define some stuff right now so first things first let me just adjust the mic first things first um we're going to define character but we're not going to set it equal to anything so we're just going to leave it like you know equal to we're not going to put an equal or anything we're just going to say local character and we're going to say local player and we're going to say local <clears throat> scripts uh folder equals script up here um local tool equals scripts folder dot parent local animations folder equals tool going with child animations local swing one animation and then we're going to make one called swing one track but we're going to leave it empty like we did with character and player next we will set some cooldown um variables for cooling down so that they can't repeatedly swing over and over again so we'll say cooldown equals false local cooldown wait equals one and you guys can set this to whatever you want the time amount of your cooldown to be so once we have all that set up we'll go to tool.activated go and connect function and actually before that let's do an equipped uh function so now in here we're going to define the character so we're going to say character equals tool.parent player equals game colon get service players colon get player from character character local humanoid equals character colon five first child humanoid if humanoid then swing one track equals humanoid colon load animation um swing one animation and tool activated will go if cooldown equal equals false then cooldown equals true wait cooldown wait cooldown equals false then we'll enter enter on the cooldown equals uh true and we can just say swing one track colon play <clears throat> so uh if we go ahead and run and we test this out it should be playing our animation now uh one last thing this for some reason wants to be anchored so let's hit play now we pick up the sword why is it still um not letting me pick it up i don't know why So inside starter pack. I don't know why it's not letting me pick it up. Yeah, okay. It's being it's fucking being weird as shit. Um uh, these bolts are I mean they're both uh let's try to create a new weld. Something's not working. I really don't know what's going on with it, but um, that's okay. We'll just, for now, we'll delete that. Or actually, you know what? Delete the handle. We'll make this the handle. And we'll, we'll re-edit the tool grip to about right there. That should work now. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, well now it's gone because it's can collide set to false. So we'll throw that inside a starter pack. I don't know why that wasn't uh, letting me pick it up. Everything was unanchored, but whatever, it's fine. 
So we have the sword, and now when we click, the animation plays. Obviously, we can't damage anything because we didn't set that up. But if you guys want a part two to this video, um, I can make a video on how to like set up damaging and stuff like that. But um, yeah, and again, <clears throat> if you want to change the cooldown time, let's set it to like 0 0.7 or something. Because in Bed Wars, you can kind of like spam the sword. So now if we, you know, now when we set it to 0 0.7, it's a lot faster. Um, and honestly, I kind of like how that looks. But um, yeah, that's how you make a sword with animations in it with Moon Animator. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, love reading your guys' feedback on the videos I make. We have grown so much. We've already passed 200 subs. Um, so, road is to 300 now. I love seeing growth on the channel. It's awesome. You know, it's awesome talking to all you guys. Um, and yeah, it's just awesome growing together as a community. So, as I, you know, like I said, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.